Good afternoon everyone, hope you're keeping safe and well. Just out here today with it being such a gorgeous day, um, me and Simon are going to try and give you a few ideas and drills to do in your garden if you've got space, seeing as we can't get out on the course at the moment, so just to keep you going. First of all, I'm going to teach you how I would play a chicken run shot. So. I'm just going to quickly run through set up, ball position, how to hold the club, how to swing the club and then all I'm going to concentrate today on is our landing spot. With us being out on the garden obviously we don't have a green to hit at so we're not sure how it's going to roll so it's purely the first bounce that I'm worried about. Okay, So to begin with I've got a pitching wedge, a lot of people use different clubs, it's completely up to you what you prefer to choose. So for me pitching wedge today, I've uh, got the ball in middle of our stance, feet shoulder width apart. Okay, gripping down on the handle right at the bottom. The reason for this, it just gives us a bit more control. We're not trying to hit the ball far, we're just trying to use it for control, okay? So next, I want us to address the ball. Club face square to our target. So now I'm just gonna move back a little bit and show you a little bit about the technique. So with the chip and run, it's very much like a putting stroke, so we try and keep keep our arms nice and firm with our wrists, almost making a triangle shape with our shoulders and arms. What we don't want to see is any wrist hinge like this, okay? So locking those wrists out, taking the club back so far, sweep the grass and then follow through to the same length. This will help you gauge your pace rather than being really long on one side and short on the other side or vice versa. So just gonna give this a go to show you how it should look. 